Hey guys, today we'll be transferring some save files from a real PS Vita to a PC or Steam Deck for emulation. Now before we get started, I recommend checking the Vita 3K compatibility list to make sure your game is actually supported. Once you're sure your game will actually work, you'll need a hacked Vita. As PS Vita save files are encrypted, you'll need to decrypt them on the actual device before they'll be usable on an emulator. So first you'll need to install Save Manager. You can get this on VitaDB or you can download and install it manually from GitHub. Second, load up Save Manager and tap on the game's icon. Then back it up to any slot. In this video we'll use the top one, or slot 0, as it's easy to remember. You can also back up any other games you're interested in while you're here, to save time later. And now, your save file has been decrypted and backed up. So let's grab a USB cable and get ready to transfer it to our PC. Open up VitaShell and press Start to see this menu. Now make sure the Select button is set to USB. If it's not, you can press the left and right buttons to change this. Now press circle to go back, connect your Vita via micro USB or the included cable, and press select to connect your Vita to your PC. Now if you go to file browser you should see a new drive pop up. Open this drive and go to data and save games. You'll likely find a bunch of folders here and you'll need to find the one that matches your game's ID. If you don't know the ID, you can check the game in Vita 3K and it should be listed to the right of the game's name. Or you can right click on the game and select information. Now find a folder on your Vita that matches the ID, open it, and open the slot 0 folder inside. Here are your decrypted files, so keep this window open because we'll need it in a bit. Next we need to find a Vita 3K save folder for this game. So right click on the game and click open folder and see if you have an option for save data. If you don't, you need to start the game at least once. Once the game started, just close Vita 3K and open it again, and now you should have the option for save folder. So go ahead and click this and you should see an empty folder. Leave this window open for now and launch the game again. In order to import your save file, we'll also need a slot param file. And in short, to make one of these, all you have to do is just save in-game once. Uncharted is nice about this and triggers a save when you first start the game. If we check a save folder, we'll see the slot param file has been created. So if a game is like this and you have your file, you can move on to importing your save. But some other games require you to play a bit before you hit a save point. But again, we're just here for the slot param file, so feel free to play on easy mode, skip all the optional cutscenes or anything else just to save time. This is just a temporary save, so it'll be overwritten soon anyway. Okay, now that we've saved, check Vita 3K's save folder and you should see a slot param file. If so, you should be good to go, so go ahead and move on to the importing step. Okay, now we're ready to import the saves. Make sure you have both your backup folder open as well as your emulator's save folder. If you accidentally close one of them, here are the timestamps on screen to show you how to find them again. We have our backup folder on the left, and you can tell because it contains this SCE sys folder. And on the right we have your emulator save folder, denoted by the slot param file we just made. For now, ignore both folder indicators and look at everything else and it should look the same. If you find more files in your backup folder, then a few more steps will be required, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so again we're going to ignore the SCE sys folder and copy everything else, files and folders, into your Vita 3K's save folder. And if you're asked, overwrite the files. Okay, so now restart Vita 3K just to be safe and load up your game and your save file should load up just fine. Okay, now let's try Wipeout 2048 on the Steam Deck. The process is the same as PC, however I found that the Vita can't properly connect to the Steam Deck through USB. So you can just use a flash drive or any other method to transfer the files. Just make sure you get that backup file from your PS Vita onto the Steam Deck. Then you can follow the same steps as before. Generate a save folder by launching the game once. Get your slot param by saving once. And finally, copy the files from your backup to Vita 3K's save folder and you should be good to go. Now if you have this issue where you have multiple save slots on your Vita, but not all of them are showing up, and you want to import the rest of them, you'll need to do a few extra steps. In short, Vita 3K will only check save slots that it knows about. So if you use slot 2 and 3 on your real Vita, but only slot 2 on the emulator, you'll simply need to make a temporary save to those same slots in Vita 3K. And once you've matched all the save slots, just copy your backup Vita save files to Vita 3K's save folder, just like we did before, and they should load up just fine. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.